a first juicy bite. Gonna drip out the ass. <laughs> Whoa. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Have not had a banging barbecue burger in quite some time. It's a beautiful night, so that's what's going down tonight. It's summertime, we gotta make burgers at some point. So, the Portuguese buns, my favorite. Salt, pepper, we got all the fixings in our Tupperwares here. A little mozzarella cheese. I bought these preformed ground truck, 388 for two nice patties, not bad. A little oil for these buns. We're gonna grill those off. Got some veg prep here. Gonna do a fresh Greek style burger. Gonna do a different burger with this sauce. So we got these two sauces. That's my Greek sauce. And this is my other rando sauce, which I'll show you now. Come together while the grill is heating up. First toss together sauce for the Greek burger is sour cream. Equal mayonnaise. A dash of Parmesan and roasted garlic. Salad dressing. Dried dill, chicken shawarma spices, minced Kalamata olive, and now we give that a spin. And that's gonna be our Greek burger sauce. The next toss sauce for the next burger is mayo, ballpark must, horseradish, minced banana peppers. Spin her up. Heart creamy tangy. So just two tiny prep tasks before we go to the grill. Of course, we have to make it so we can have good grilled buns. And these are my favorite buns. Y'all shouldn't be probably noticed by now. Pop these guys open. It's really just as simple as canola oil. Don't be afraid to just finger that oil in. <laughs> just rub it around a bit. Just work her in a little bit. And just a pinch of salt on each. I promise you salting your grilled bread is an absolute game changer. All right, preformed patties. Just gotta season our patties, of course. Just treating them like steak. Liberal with the cracked pepper. I love a good peppery burg, especially on the barbecue. Gets all kind of burnt and crisped off. And then I hit it with the salt, of course. That simple. In the meantime, Fresh cut grass, nothing like it. White picket fence, two and a half kids. I have zero children. Okay. But like this. She's beauty out. Bluebird. Absolute bluebird. Just the moon. The moon and the sun in the sky. Seagulls beacon. No crows right now, which is nice. They're usually very loud. They usually sit on top of this pole specifically and they argue with me they yell at me and i don't like them and i'm very terrified that they're going to murder me in a murder of crows but what up moon just a little little half slice not quite a little quarter slice one third of a slice of the moon okay it's nice out you guys can scope my green thumb too look at how nice these came in very beautiful. I didn't have to do anything. They just grew. <laughs> They're already planted from years prior and I have no contribution to this. This is all natural. The sun and the water and the dirt and things happen and then flowers come and you got yourself a garden of eating. There it is. The grill. grill is cranked up to 425 and climbing so I think we're ready to go on to get that nice smoky sizzling crust check back on those in a few moments all right a couple minutes in this thing is smoking let's have a look okay that flame is kissing that's exactly what we want let's do a little 45 on them oh that fat and those juices and that char baby and that smoke a couple more minutes like that and then we'll flip them. Look at this. Watch how beautiful this is going to be. Oh, look at that perfect diamond. That diamond crust. 
One more time. One more time. Those are gonna be nice. Real nice. I'm just gonna let these finish up. Finish up a little bit like convection style. Less direct, a little more indirect. While that's happening, buns go on to pick up the juices. A little diamond for these. Get the back a little bit. Crispy buns to the plate, just like so. Cheese and the residual heat. Mozzarella for this one, and feta for the Greek. Now we shall build. For the Greek and for the other one, we're going saucy bottoms on each. For the patty to lay into, a little bit of this sauce on this one. Crispy O's under the patty. While those cheeses are melting, we prep the tops too. More sauce, we're, we're attacking from all angles of sauce, both sides. Sandwiches full of sauce. On both, we got our just Whopper style lettuce, chunked out lettuce. On the Greek, two slices of tomato, a little bit of thin red onion from the mandolin. On this one, hefty amount of thin, thin red onion also from the mandolin. <laughs> Time to lay these patties. We got the Greek feta and we got the matzah melter. And if you know me, it's gonna be more crispy onions in the middle. For that extra crispy bite. Let's close them up. <laughs> Get them to the Greek. Rando dando onion lettuce. Special sauce. There we go. Barbecue, hockey puck, grilled buns, burger time. Let's get into these. I'm so ready. Did he catch a little tan off the barbecue or is that a tan from being out at the pool for a bunch of days? I don't know, but either way, beautiful barbecue burgers in the garden of eating. <laughs> Where we do our best eating. All right. I'm actually super jazzed, right, for the uh, for the Greek one. I kind of know what the other one tastes like. This one, she's juicing, but I don't know. This sauce that I made, I had a little lick of it, and I just, oh, I think I, it's gonna be fucking amazing. All right, that first juicy bite. She's gonna drip out the ass. <laughs> Whoa. You guys. Holy shit. What? Okay. That's stupid good. Don't usually love a thick patty, but it's so tendy. All that char and that sauce is incredible. The Kalamata olives. Oh, hold on one second. <laughs> Y'all know what was gonna happen. I need a bite like this with extra of that sauce right there. Oh. Wow. That's one of the best burgers I've ever had. It made me just stutter. This is absolutely incredible. I know they usually make uh, Greek burgers with lamb. Perhaps I should have brought 
napkins, but screw it. This is summer eating. Oh man, absolutely has to happen again. That is a new stumble upon sauce that will be in my repertoire. It's the olives in that uh, the swarm of seasoning. I mean, everything makes it, but the dill. This is for sale. Wow. I was maybe going to talk about shit in this, but when the food's too good, all I can do is eat. I think I made, just might have made one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life. No bullshit. It's sad because I already know the next one is going to be trash. In comparison probably still gonna be good but not like that polar pot break <laughs> today we have red bull for extra energy before we get deep into this one my talking point was going to be a person i used to like to watch who got like canceled and had to go away for a while but apparently it was really good for him but who i super enjoyed to watch uh, a lot is back now they're making videos again not in the same capacity as they once were but that's because they just want to do their own thing the way they want to do it now nothing too crazy nothing too serious but that is tn lee i miss tn lee always loved his uh, videos very insightful guy and uh he just keeps it raw real about life so i've always liked his videos and then his food prep and production back when he did it crazy was was always amazing But he's back. I'm glad to see him back. He, uh, got, um, like mob ganged off the internet back when people used to have, like, I always said it was stupid, but like mukbang drama, and then people wouldn't meet up in real life, and then they got caught, like, making fun of. I don't know, some other mukbanger or whatever. And then it's just, it was always really stupid to me. So anyways, it's interesting how, like I've always said, you get involved in some dumb shit and Within X amount of time, people just move on with their lives and none of it matters anymore and it's all forgotten. And it's just like, all right, <laughs> slate is clear. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Okay, this one. Has nothing on that one. And in fact, it's unbalanced. I messed up. It's all right, but it 
the peppers. And that horseradish. I kind of knew it in my head with the mustard. It's bite on bite on bite. So it's a lot of <clears throat> high intensity flavors that kind of compound on each other and they make it too, too sharp. I was gonna say sharp and zippy, but then I just made a word called sharp with a Z apparently, <laughs> or a Z depending on where you live. It's all right, not that good. Cause it's too sharp. But not terrible either. Come on, fly. All right, I will say this. It's enough for me. Because that first Greek one was just so mind-blowing. And your boy, trying to be, uh, always trying to not be too fat, you know? Like, certainly... I indulge to the point where we got some jigglies, <laughs> but I'm never trying to be too fat. All right, so in closing, do not make that sauce with the mustard and the hot peppers and the horseradish and that. It's a no-go. Definitely make that Greek style sauce that I made. That burger was phenomenal. Welcome back. T and Lee, and also these summer nights are immaculate vibes. However, they are slowly but surely fleeting very quickly into the cold October air. But for me, that happens in like late August, September, because like I said, summer's not very long here. We just get a little chunk of a window, and then within two to three weeks, I will be in pants and a windbreaker once again because it will be probably cold. So, fuck you if you live in a nice climate <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm jealous. Okay. Till the next one, <laughs> you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Try that Greek burger. Stay true.